we have a program that's known as the Rites of Passage program that exists uh, in the juvenile detention centers in California. I am one of the facilitators with the Rites of Passage program, also life coach, certified case manager for over 20 years. Our Rites of Passage program is a manhood development program that allows young men to uh, begin a process of change. I'm here as a concerned citizen, as a brother, as a father, as a mentor, reaching out to you, my community, to tell you what wonderful work is happening with this program, watching lives change, seeing young men grow into leaders. The first time I met Kelvin Potts was in the maximum security units at Juvenile Hall in Alameda County. I was there for uh, three felonies. I was introduced to the RRP program in 2016. Uh, I was in Juvenile Hall and I was just trying to figure out what was going on, why everybody kept going back. I'm a proud graduate of the ROP program, the Rites of Passage program, um, that Kelp, that's led by Kelvin Potts and his team, like Kentro Killens and a bunch of other uh, wonderful, wonderful men who have stepped stepped up in the community and try to fill the void or or fill the needs of those youth that don't have guidance, don't have support, and, and need and we're in desperate need of that. Man, it feel good to know how to manage your, know your feelings so you can manage them. Because if you don't know them, you can't manage them. And uh, I got in touch with my feelings a little bit. And they kind of opened me up a little bit more to life. Made me feel like I ain't ready to die no more, you know. While the systems are constantly judging our young people for the decisions that they've made, we're challenging them to make changes. So your support, your contributions allow us to dig deep into the lives of young men who have been impacted by high levels of trauma and are looking for a way out. I'm currently 24 years old and I'm attending the University of California, Berkeley. Um, I'm in the high school of business and my, my, my path to here is one that's very complicated and very, very, um, I guess you could say, full of turmoil, and but also a lot of hope and promise. The young men are looking for hope. They're looking for uh, a different role model, a different male presence that can meet them where they are, that can also provide an avenue of change. Not just through words, but through an example. I got out the program, um, you know, been a man, you know, just firm handshakes, looking a man in his eye when we're talking to him, expressing your feelings. When when I when I join the program for real, for real, it's just like, damn, I wish my dad did some of this stuff. Like, I wish my dad said some of this stuff that they said to me. A lot of the work did happen in juvenile hall, but the majority of the work happened outside of it, like contact, right? Not just like falling off. We're talking about uh, continuing to, to pr uh, provide them with management development uh, processes and things that help them uh, navigate socially and emotionally. Because this whole process of being a man, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a destination. It's a journey. Me personally, I looked at y'all like father figures to me.